Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mocha Latte After Dark. I am your host, JJ Fitzgerald, and I know it's been a while, a really long while. I took some time off, nothing serious, nothing traumatic. I just needed a little bit of a break, so I took it and I enjoyed it, and now I'm back. Today's topic is what in the love bombing is going on on online dating? For those of you who don't know what love bombing is, according to Wikipedia, love bombing is an attempt to influence a person by demonstrations of attention and affection. It can be used in different ways and for either positive or negative purposes. Psychologists have identified love bombing as a possible part of a cycle of abuse and have warned against it. As some of you know, I have been online dating for many, many, many moons. And I have noticed that really since COVID, things have gotten worse. It was already bad, but it is horrible now. My most recent experience with love bombing was with a gentleman who lived on the other side of the country from where I live. And when he first reached out to me, he hit me with the like, hey, sexy, sexy body, blah, blah, blah. And usually when people do that, I know that it's headed down the wrong path. But I have this habit of always giving people the benefit of the doubt because you just never know, right? So we exchanged numbers. I gave him a Google Voice number that I created specifically for online dating. And I also have a burner number for those that I really am not too sure about. And it just makes it easier to get rid of people when that time comes. So I'll try to make this story brief because it was only a two-day affair. And if I had fallen for this guy, (laughs) I would be crushed (laughs) that it ended in two days because of the rhetoric that he was spewing. It was so ridiculous. He was basically telling me that I was the one for him and he couldn't imagine life without me and his dead mother was smiling, just all this weird stuff. And I'm just like, dude, you don't even know my name. He knows my online name, but he doesn't know my government name. And it was making me terribly uncomfortable because I'm not someone that moves fast like that. And so he's just saying things like, thanks for being in his life. He's so lucky. And I knew instinctly from the very beginning that he just wanted to have fun. He wasn't looking for anything serious with me. I mean, you don't even know me. You haven't asked me any questions about my life. You didn't ask if I have children or how old my children are. You didn't ask about my career. You didn't ask about if I've been married before or how long, how long I've been divorced. I was the one doing all of the asking. And he was one of these guys that wanted to flex. So he was talking about his profession and he was talking about his sister's profession. And I just told him, I'm not impressed by all of that kind of stuff. I want to know what makes you tick as a human being. What is your heart saying? Now, do I want someone who's accomplished and successful and educated? Absolutely. But that's not the end all be all for me. I want the whole package. So how it ended was we were camming. Everything was great. Then he said, okay, I need to go to sleep. So we said goodbye. And then... He starts texting me. He starts telling me how he's naked right now and I'm missing from his life and he's imagining what we'd be doing if I was next to him in bed and any ideas. And I said, it's hard to imagine that when I haven't met you yet. And then he says, I guess you need a visual. And I told him, it's very hard for me to have extremely strong feelings without having met someone in person and smelled them, touched them, etc., And this is something that I explained to him from day one, that I am not someone who just falls quickly. Then he says, 
I want to smell and touch you and so much more too. Remember, my body belongs to you. (laughs) And I said, I will be honest with you. If what you are thinking is something of a sexual nature and you share that with me at this juncture, it will turn me off. And then he tried to play it off like, oh, I was just thinking of cuddling and spooning and kissing you. Sure you are. This is a classic case of love bombing. So needless to say, that was the end of our two-day affair. And then he unmatched with me on the dating site that we met. So that was my most recent love bombing experience. And I've had this before. And I need to just get it in my head that when this happens and whatever my my spirit tells me at that moment is what it is. Because whenever I give people the benefit of the doubt and I move forward, it always ends like this very quickly because love bombers can't contain themselves for too long. What they truly desire is going to be displayed very quickly. And usually it's just some fling And they always say, I'm going to come visit you. So I knew when he asked me for a particular app that I use, which is called Skip Lagged, S-K-I-P-L-A-G-G-E-D. They are amazing. And that is the only app that I use to get my airline tickets. So please check them out and holler at me for an endorsement deal. But anyway... He asked me for that website information. I gave it to him. And then when I spoke to him, I asked him, did you go to skiplag.com for your tickets to come see me? Because he was pretending like he was going to come see me the following weekend. And he told me no. And so that's when I knew for sure, like, he's a love bomber. And all he's trying to do is to get me to engage in some sexual conversation which then in turn would lead to him asking me for provocative photos and it goes on and on and on. So ladies and men, beware of love bombing. It's a real thing out in these streets of (laughs) online dating or just in life, not just online dating, just in life, period. So be careful. If someone is spewing all this lovey-dovey rhetoric after meeting them for like two seconds run far away or if you are interested proceed with caution but be careful because people are so freaking crazy thank you for listening to another episode of mocha latte after dark i am your host jj fitzgerald and as always be true